Welcome to the Silver Ultramind System. My name is Vishen Lakiani. I'm the founder of Mind Valley. And if you've been using Mind Valley products for the last decade or so, you would probably recognize my name and recognize my work. But what you may not know is that before I was the founder of Mind Valley, I was a Silver Ultramind instructor. And before that, I was a Silver Ultramind student. You see, the Silva Method has been probably the most influential personal growth program in my life. And it influenced me to such a degree that it made me who I am. I am a product of this product. And that's why the Silva Ultramind system holds such a, a beautiful place in my heart. Now, if you've been in personal growth, you may have heard of the Silva Method. The Silver Method reached the height of its popularity in the 70s and 80s. It was the original personal growth program in the United States. Jose Silva's pioneering work in mind science introduced people to concepts such as the alpha brainwave level, the theta brainwave level. He proved without a doubt that any human being could be trained to develop intuition to the point where they could function psychically at the waking state. Prior to Jose Silva's work, it was believed that only a few rare individuals had the gift of ESP. Jose Silva proved that everyone had it. And even before the word meditation became trendy, Jose Silva was using his techniques to put people into relaxed alpha and theta levels of mind, more on that later, that allowed them to tap into these abilities. The Silva method grew so big and so popular in the 70s and 80s that in the 1980s, there were almost a 100 million dollars worth of silver tickets sold every single year to seminars happening all around the world. And the graduates of the silver method now number in the tens of millions. To understand the power of the silver method, I probably have to share with you this story before I come to my own. I'm sure you've heard of the book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. It became one of the classic books in personal growth literature. The book and its author, Richard Back, became so popular that the book was featured on the cover of Time magazine. But what people don't know is that Richard Back, the author, was having difficulty completing the final chapters of the book until he took a Silva Method class. In an interview in Harper's Bazaar magazine, he said this, that the Silva Method class helped him figure out and understand the closing of that book. That book went on to sell millions of copies. It became a personal growth classic and got featured on Time magazine. That is the power of the Silva method. Many other graduates, including myself, have gone on to do remarkable things using the tools that Jose Silva developed. Now, the Silva method reached a peak of its popularity in the late 80s. And then as Jose got older and eventually passed away in 1999, the method started to die out. The number of classes and seminars started to dip. But something interesting happened. In around 95 to 96, Jose Silva on his deathbed created an updated version of the Silva method. He called it the Silva Ultramine system. Now this is what happened next. He wanted to get this updated method out, but there was an established organization teaching the original Silva method, the original program that had been popularized by the hit book, Silva Mind Control published in the mid seventies. And the organization was not ready for Jose's latest work, Silva Ultramine, because it would disrupt some of their regular business. So they decided to not let it out. Jose passed Silva Ultramine to some of his nephews and close friends, and they decided to create a competing organization called Silva Ultramine. So you had Silva Method, the original organization, and Silva Ultramine. Now this is where I stepped in. My association with the Silva Method started in an interesting way. When I was 14 years old, a Silva Method book fell on my head. What happened was my dad never went to university. He was a self-educated man and he had this beautiful white bookshelf in his room filled with all the books that changed his life. One of which was the Silva Method book. Now as a kid, I was really into sports. So I was climbing my dad's bookshelf. This was in the pre-internet days to pick up a little book on exercise so I could, you know, get my exercise routine together. Accidentally, another book fell on my head. That was the Silva Method book. I picked it up. I browsed through a couple of pages. The cover looked interesting and the book blew my mind. So I read it cover to cover at the age of 14. That book got me started with meditation. I would then meditate three times a day for 15 minutes each. Now, back then as a teenager, I had serious acne. And as you learn later in the course, 
I used a specific technique in the book to heal that acne. I'd had pimples on my face. My nickname in high school was Pimple Face for five years. It shattered my confidence. It didn't make me feel good about myself. I'd never been in a date with a girl. And these pimples just really were, were an unfortunate blow for a teenager with a really fragile sense of self-esteem. But I read in that Silva book about how Jose Silva had found that the skin was the organ that was most easy to influence with the human mind. So I put in place the Silva technique from that book and taught myself how to heal my skin. For five years, I had pimples. In five weeks, my acne disappeared for good. My face changed. All of a sudden, I had the confidence to truly step up as a teenager and, and show up in the world in a different way. And that was my love affair with Silva. That's how it really began. I went on to do some really remarkable things, manifesting some really cool dreams. But then when I moved to Michigan to go to college, as a young kid, I got caught up in all of those other things that young people get caught up in. I stopped my meditation practice. Back in the 90s, it wasn't cool to meditate, not as cool as it is right now. Meditation was the last thing on the mind of an American college student in the mid 90s. And Silva fell by the wayside. Now I graduated into American society in 1999 when I moved to New York to take a not-for-profit job. Um, I barely graduated, so my grades were not good. So I didn't have the best job options. And finally, it was 2001 that my life started to collapse. I finally had a decent job, but then September 11 hit and the company I was working for went bankrupt. I was cast out on the street. I couldn't afford rent. I was sleeping on a couch. Worse, I couldn't afford car insurance and got into an accident. And in the Bay Area, you needed a car to get around. And so I was in a broken state. And the only job I could get was a simple job where I had to pick up the phone and dial lawyers and sell them software. I was a computer engineer from the University of Michigan. I had this great degree, but here I was in a miserable economy, in a miserable job, trying to sell technology to lawyers, and I knew nothing about sales. And so I would pick up the phone, I'd interrupt the lawyer in the middle of their busy day, and I would hear more fuck-offs than I would ever expect to hear in my life. I remember getting on Google. It was now around February, March 2002, and I can't remember what I typed in, but it was something along the lines of, please help me figure this out. Or perhaps it was, why does my life suck so bad? And I came across Silva Ultramine. It was now 2002. The Silva Ultramine as a competitor organization, the Silva Method run by different members of his family had started to emerge. And they were having a few classes around the country. There was nothing in the Bay Area. So with the few dollars I had, I booked a plane ticket, flew to LA and took the class. Funny thing was, I was the only person who showed up. It just wasn't popular back then. The instructor, obviously disappointed that she had one student, ran me through the class in one day. I had a compressed version of the class. All the beautiful memories of Silva that I practiced as a teenager came back, but now with the advanced Ultramind techniques. You see, the original program was amazing, but now I was learning the updated program with new ideas, new skills. One of the key ideas in this updated program was waking psychic functioning. The fact that you can access altered levels of mind and perceive information that you otherwise should not have access to. So I finished a class in LA, flew back to San Francisco, and that very next week, I started back on my job. Now I'm an engineer and I approached sales back then, even though I sucked at it, I approached it in a very empirical manner. I knew the number of calls I had to book, the number of lawyers that would tell me to fuck off versus who would actually give me a chance to speak for more than 10 minutes. I knew the number of lawyers I would close on a sale, which was hardly any, but I had these numbers. So I decided to try the Silva technique. And now back then we would have to go to the San Francisco Public Library, check out the yellow pages of the territory we were assigned and call every lawyer from A to Z. My territory was San Antonio, Texas. So. I opened up the yellow pages for San Antonio, Texas, and I started calling every lawyer. But rather than call them from A to Z, I went to my alpha level of mind, which I learned in the Silva program, and I ran my hands down the phone book, and I would get an impulse of who to call. I called the lawyers for which I had an impulse, and my sales closing rate doubled overnight. So the very next week, I was ecstatic, and I decided to use other techniques that I'd learned in the class. For example, the three scenes technique that you're going to learn as well. 
my sales doubled again. I used other techniques, such as the mental video technique, my sales doubled again. In the next three months, I got promoted four times and I was 26 years old and I was made vice president of sales of this company. Even though four months before, I had hardly any experience in sales. Silva completely shifted the way my mind was functioning. My career exploded. I was sent to New York on September 11, 2002, the anniversary of September 11 by my boss because he wanted me to open up his office in New York on the anniversary of September 11 so that he could help contribute to jobs in the city. I used Silva and I found the perfect office. Again, I used certain techniques that to program that I would have the most amazing office space. And the space I got was Chelsea Market, where today's YouTube studios sit. Another huge success from the Silva method. I was guided into this amazing space. For those of you who don't know, Chelsea Market is one of the most valuable buildings in New York. Google bought it a few years ago for almost two and a half billion dollars. But back then in 2002, September, I got to use the Silva technique to program that I would have the most amazing office. And it was in Chelsea Market, where YouTube Studio sits today. So my life completely transformed. Now I stayed with that company for 18 months before I felt this, this pull. When, you're, when you do Silva, you're really tapped in. And it said, I need to do something of my own. I needed to leave this company. And so I decided to leave and I felt this pull to become a Silva instructor. I never forgot the fact that when I attended my first Silva class, it had changed my life. It had transformed my world, but I was the only student there and that disturbed me. Why didn't more people know about it? So I became a Silva instructor to spread the word. As I was teaching Silva Ultramine, what happened was being an engineer, I started building the websites to get people into my classes. These websites became so successful other instructors came to me and said, can you help me fill my Silva class? And then the Silva Ultramine organization came to me and said, can you help us sell our CDs? And that was the birth of Mind Valley. I cracked the code to building a personal growth platform that could get millions of people enrolled in seminars and programs. And that is how the Mind Valley today, the world's most innovative personal growth company, was born. Now, I continued representing Silva Ultramine for several years. Then the parent Silva company, Silva Method, came to me and I started representing them. I built up the core programs for the Silva Method. Everything went well for several years. Mind Valley helped take Silva from being in the red to becoming in the black again. And Silva helped give me the tools to channel the ideas to create Mind Valley. It's now been 15 years since that time. And I was honored when the family of Jose Silva asked me to be the new face for Silva Ultramine, to give this program an overhaul, to bring it onto Mind Valley's platform, and to get it out to the world. And that's where we are today. So this was your first warm up video. I wanted to give you the backstory to understand how the Silva method, Silva Ultramine, and Mind Valley all became part of the same thing, and how we are all coming together to take Jose Silva's profound work and share it with millions of people everywhere. I'll see you tomorrow for warm up two.